Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And today, what you can probably tell from the title is that we're going to be giving out a wee bit again. Um, also, it's been raining, so I'm probably going to get rained on again. But it is Ireland in September, so it's to be expected, really. And what are we giving out about today? Well, first and foremost, internet. Now, some of you already know this, but I, since I've moved house, I've actually been without internet now for about a month. And if not for the kindness of uh, Big J and Co, one of the Co's being a, a very beautiful doggy, I'll see here, am I allowed to share you their, their dog's Instagram profile? Because he deserves sharing, and if, if I am allowed, the link will be down in the description. But why I'm complaining about it is... So I knew I was going to be moving quite a long time ago, as I told all of you. And at that point, I rang the internet company. And you see, I'm now living rural, as you can probably guess. I was kind of in a... or close to a city. So I booked in like a month in advance at least of me moving yeah it was about three weeks maybe maybe three weeks a month and they said yeah yeah we have a line available for you and all that but we don't know when it's going live and i said okay well i will be without internet entirely uh, there's also no phone coverage at my house <laughs> i am in a black pit of despair um, but anyway so they said okay look we'll see what we can do to push it Whew. And they probably haven't, but anyway, that's not the point, right? They, so they said they'd see what they could do to push it, and then proceeded not to call me back, ever, at all. So I called them back, and said, hey, what's up? Uh, already paid you some money uh, to secure my spot, please, please give me internet. And they said, oh yeah, 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 we'll be back to you any day now, we're even going to create a ticket for you and give you a number. And that number was lots of sixes and nines, hilariously. And I was like, ah, oh, that's not made up at all and apparently it's actually not made up because I rang back and quoted and they knew what I was talking about so I don't know um, but anyway so yeah that was fine rang back talked about the ticket and they were like yeah nah still don't have any internet for you it'll be sometime in December and in December September and I was like okay but but when though and they were just they were just like yeah I don't know in that month you know that that month that spans you know 30 days 30 days of September, yeah, 30. <laughs> and I was like, I, that's, <laughs> that's... That's a large period of time. Uh, but it's, it's hilarious because they can get away with that, you know? Like, rural internet in Ireland is so bad that if someone's like, okay, we'll give you internet at some time, probably. And it just, it bugs me that it's still that bad. Like, it, Jesus Christ, it's 2020 and the whole world has fallen apart for other reasons. But yet they can't get internet right. I mean, I feel sorry for the likes of the Chronicles of Flinch as well. I know he suffers through the same thing. Yes, give me the rain, Sky. It's not like I'm only wearing my Kevlar jeans, which are going to get nice and soggy. Mm -mm. But we haven't had a nice old vlog in the rain for a while, so look, I will get wet, as is the normal, um, really, at this time of year. So, actually, yeah, if you haven't watched the channel up until now, in, in this time of year, this, this happens... <laughs> This happens a lot. Um, but yeah, that, that's really all I want to say is that I think it's absolute nonsense that this day and age, that you know, that that is still a thing. That, that you know, not having proper internet available for people is still a thing. It's, it's a joke. Oh, 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 quickie dodgy sneaky boy. Beat the timer, got around the car. Number two that I want to give out about. Now, look, this could be completely different in other lands of the world. But here, the purpose of the NRD, which are our police force, right, is they are public servants. So they are supposed to, you know, look after us. Look after, look after the people of Ireland. And their whole thing is, is prevention, not punishment. They're not a pu supposed to be a punishment force. It's literally written into their tenants, their code. From when they were made operational not that long ago. It's like, realistically, it's, they, they haven't existed like 200, 300 years or anything like that. They're not that old. Um, but what I've seen at the moment, and 
it's since people were kind of gotten back on the road after the, the Rona kept everyone off the road for a long time. And this is probably me being incredibly cynical, but I'm probably also right. I have seen an absolutely massive increase in unmarked guard cars doing speed checks and hiding. Now, I'll take it out if he doesn't want me to put it in, I'll actually ask him, but Big J got caught by a guard who was literally hiding. Oh, it's raining out there. And he was literally hiding. And in my opinion, that's just not good enough. If you'd been out in the open, the whole purpose is to prevent people speeding, not to punish them for speeding. So if you're out in the open and not hiding in your little stupid guard car, you know, that would have done the job for you. You don't need to catch people. That's not what you're there for. You're not there to catch people. You're there to prevent people in the first place. How do you do that? You mark your car up nice and bright and you don't hide it. So I have a problem with them hiding and I have a problem with them using unmarked cars because it's the, both of those are complete nonsense and they shouldn't be allowed to do it, in my opinion. Uh, it really, it really annoys me. It really annoys me. And if there's any guards who watch this, please feel free to, uh, to hit me up anonymously. Ooh, that's really slippy. That, that is really slippy. Anyway, yeah, feel free to hit me up anonymously because I would love to hear the other side of it. I'd love to even have an anonymous guard on the podcast at some point. So if anyone knows anyone who'd be interested in doing that, let me know. Number three on my, my wee rants, audio. Audio is really, really hard to get right. Um, I think I finally have it okay, thanks to the purchase of a Zoom from Moto Dragon. Thank you again, Moto Dragon. But why is it that hard to get right is my big question. You know, like the likes, and look, I know it's, it's, it's a subject beaten to death, which is why I've never even mentioned it before. Um, because it is, it's, it's, it's the dead horse that is, has been dead and flogged to more death. That's really pretty. The old bridge. There you go. Um, you know, it's been flogged to death and then, then resurrected by a, by a witch doctor and then flogged to death again and then resurrected again and then set on fire and then flogged to death while on fire, etc. You get the point, you know? It's a subject that's been beaten. Beaten until it is no more. But it's just, it, it's, it's mental to me that the likes of GoPro and even DJI and stuff, they don't have you know, a good system built in to deal with audio. And in fairness, in fairness, the whole um, Progo boy actually works quite well. Mm -hmm. Squeeze up here into the bicycle lane because I am a bicycle. Simply powered by an engine. I think that's how it's pronounced. But you know, it's just, it's mental to me that you have to pay so much extra. And if you listen to Motor Dragon's audio, I think it's really good. And he has, he has the GoPro audio adapter. I think it's really, really good. So, it, it, you know, if you want that audio, it's worth the investment. For me, I just, I ride in the rain uh, when it rains. So the audio adapter just wasn't going to be for me because it, it affects the waterproofness of the, the, the system. So it just wasn't going to work for me at all. So I couldn't choose it. And, there, you know, I've thrown away more videos because of poor audio. And, you know, I might not have changed any setting. It just might have been slightly more windy that day. And all these apps that you buy on the phone, and that you literally buy, you know, I weren't able to cope. And I did have paid for apps, so it's kind of sucky. That that is, you know, that's, that's the thing, that you can get a paid for app that claims to do the job and then doesn't do it at all. The last app I had, it was yellow, it's okay. It did an okay job at it, it just wasn't great. So, you know, that's, it's just, it's, it, it, you shouldn't have to, uh, the options shouldn't be to spend a lot of money on an external audio recorder such as the Zoom, uh, which is actually more expensive than the brick for GoPro, by the way, in case people are trying to compare the two, it is more expensive. Or, you know, go for the GoPro brick, which takes away your waterproofness. Clean my visor off with some speed. You know, that, sh that shouldn't be your options. But it is your option, so you know. Unfortunately, that's that's what it is. So if you're if you're someone who's looking to start, that that's kind of what you have to deal with. And I just think that GoPro or DJI or someone should offer a waterproof recording system uh, out of the box. I just think it's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair that you know those are your options to spend a lot of money making it not waterproof, or a lot of money with um, you know something external that's not even made by the same company. It's a bit silly, isn't it? 
Number four on my list of complaints today, this bike. I love it to pieces, but it just needs to stop braking because I said it in the last video, or, or I don't know if it released yet actually. The video where I fixed the latest issue with this motor bicycle. Why are you so slowly? Oh, still raining. But you know, I said it in the video that I fixed this, that we, you know what, what happened and stuff, but it's, it's just, if it had just stopped braking, it'd make my life so, so much easier. <laughs> because every time it breaks, uh, you know, you have to leave it for a while until you get the thing to fix it. And then inevitably more things break. It's a clean hill in there, nice and busy today. It's just it sucks because when it's running it is such a good bike it's so much fun it's so nice in and around town short spins long, longer spins are okay too just not too long um, because I'm probably you know I'm just too large it's my fault as always it is my fault now I wanted to stop in here the pike oh no I'm going to probably die from a car coming up behind me well, if I do, it's been real, folks. It's been real. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. They haven't killed me. So this poor place used to be an institution of good food. No longer. No longer. We're getting a picture taken in front of it. Not that I came out here for that, but you know, you know. I did come out here, or aim to come out here for a reason. I'm gonna tell you the reason. The reason is, after this just always breaking my balls and breaking, just stay fixed this time, okay? I love you, but stay fixed. Number five is stupid, stupid rules, kind of. They're not lockdown rules per se, but they're just, they're just stupid rules. Um, and one of them that I saw recently was our minister dude for health. I think his name is Donnelly, Steve, Stephen Donnelly. He, he put out a request to record what guests are eating i think at hotels for you know their lunch and dinner and stuff to make sure that they're actually eating enough in order to prevent corona um as food cancels out corona uh, if you're drinking with it you know if you just drink and don't eat uh, you get corona and everyone dies i believe that's that's what the rules there but that's kind of number five just absolutely ridiculous rules and i'm not going to go into all of them because there's, there's way too many to go into but there are so many to go into but yeah, that's it. So, my rants for today are done. If you've watched, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons as they keep Maggie alive. That is a completely unfounded statement, but I'm gonna, gonna stick with it. Um, as always, a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You're all legends. Um, and d despite, if you like it or not, right, it's inarguable, in my opinion, that V4 is the best engine configuration. So I'm, I'm just going to relate you to V4 people, and that makes you better. More better. -er. So there you go. You're more better -er than non-V4 people. That makes sense. And yeah, until next time, thank you again for watching. Adios. Outro Kulo. Have you ever eaten in the pike? I know this is going to be a very... A very small percentage of people who may or may not be from New York Kilkenny. But have you ever eaten in the pike out of interest? And for the people who aren't from Kilkenny and haven't eaten in the pike, what is a restaurant that you were brought to as, as, a, as a baby child or something similar that um, is no longer in, in existence? Is it something like the pike or is it somewhere different? Yeah. Let me know. Let me know. Bye, Outro Crew.